Hello, everyone. Hey, Tony. So, uh, Kerry, tell me about uh, the 16 Days of Action and this workshop in, in December. So the 16 Days of Activism Against Gender-Based Violence is an annual international campaign that runs from the 25th of November, um, 16 days up to the 10th of December. And it's a UN initiative. So bringing that more locally, we've been working with MIND to highlight the links of domestic abuse and mental health. And we're really excited about doing a collaborative event um, next week. So we're talking about a, um, a drop-in session in Maidstone. That's right, yeah. So uh, we recognise that there's links, and it's not just us that recognise it, between Peter and mine. Actually, there's some research from Women's Aid quite recently that's highlighting the impact of mental health and those that have experienced mental abuse. And uh, a staggering 60-70% of women who experience domestic abuse also have mental health issues. So we're going to try and force this to help raise some awareness in the locality for those um, those people within well and Maidstone that may need some advice or some support or just curiosity around domestic abuse and a passion for ending gender-based violence. Tom, how did you get involved? Yeah, so as Kerry's already mentioned, we kind of recognise the fact that there is very clearly an intrinsic link between um, domestic abuse and mental health. And so it's, it's really, really important that we acknowledge that. So our new CEO, Henu, has previously worked for a domestic abuse organisation. She's very, very aware of the fact that there's that intrinsic connection. So as an organisation, we're really keen to make sure that we are actually partnering up with other organisations who specialise in those fields, who understand how to appropriate, appropriately acknowledge the trauma that victims might have experienced. And then to combine that specialist approach really with the work that we already do around mental health so we can make sure that people are getting the best support possible um, when they need it. Because, it, I mean, it should really be self-evident, shouldn't it, that the, A, the person who's being abused, um, they're going to suffer or their mental health is going to suffer. But, you know, the abuser obviously has mental issues that, that you know, they're not facing up to. I think there's a lot of different challenges around the connections between um, domestic abuse and mental health. And I think that comes to sort of any kind of intersectionality within mental health more broadly. There's always lots of different um, specific details around it, which we need to look at and break down. Um, I think the, the really clear focus for us on this has specifically been from the victim's perspective, looking at the report from Women's Aid, which Kerry referenced, which is the Are You Listening Pillars for a Survivor-Led Approach to Mental Health Support. It shows that actually it's really important that we're making that connection, particularly for survivors, because they want to make sure that the services that they're accessing are acknowledging the experiences they've had they're providing appropriate support and actually they're acknowledging the fact that the impact of this isn't something that we can just address quickly and then it's dealt with. There are long-term ramifications that we need to work on from that mental health perspective um, to ensure that we're addressing that problem as well. So Kerry, how will this how will this drop-in session um, differ from your normal Satida drop-in sessions? This is a, um, a really focused session for the whole of the community. So we're inviting professionals and other members of the community with an interest in uh, commissioners along to just see um, and understand the link between mental health and mental abuse. Obviously, if a, a victim survivor attend, we are in a position to support them directly and make sure they have suitable, accessible uh, services and being signposted to those things that are relevant to them and actually, you know, concentrate on their their position. But this, this drop-in is different because it is more broad than our other drop-ins. So our, our other drop-ins that we run mainly across the while are focused just on the, the support of that individual. We are it's a one-on-one -on -one session, whereas this is this is more of a community event, but with the accessibility of specialised support on site from both ourselves and Mind. So uh, give us the details of where they're going to be held and the timings. Okay, so it is going to be on the 7th of December. 
and it is taking place at Mikep Minds Wellbeing Centre between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Um, so anyone who wants to come along and learn more about the services that are available can pop in. We'll have an informal uh, drop-in which people can come and access and then we've also ensured that we've got some quiet space available in our building so if anyone wants to come have a more private conversation about how they can engage with the support services that are available in the local community and um, then that facility is available to them as well. Give us the address. It's 23 College Road, Maidstone, Kent and the postcode is ME156YH. And presumably the details are on both your websites? Yes, they should yes, be. They are. Okay, so uh, Kerry, give us your website address. So our website is cepeda.org and our social media is Cepeda Charity and all of the details about the job and any other services that we offer are there. So if somebody is interested in discussing uh, their own their own position or are more interested in mental health and mental abuse link, then we can always have that conversation separately if they're not able to make the drop-in centre um, date. And Tom, give us your uh, uh, website and social media. Yeah, so Midkent Minds website is www.midkentminds.org.uk um, and you can find us across social media at Midkent Mind. And Kerry, what do you want to come out of these sessions? I think there's several things that we're, we're aiming for. First of all, we want to be uh, promoting 16 days of activism and the gender nature of violence in our communities um, along with the initiative. But more widely, we want people to explore the fact that domestic abuse doesn't happen in silo and is, there's ripple effects that happen to women and children that experience abuse that are deep-rooted and survival and thriving after. There's a multi-agency response with all of us being able to recognise the links and the complexities of domestic abuse. Uh, I think there's a tendency to pathologise women when they've been through domestic abuse and a report by Dr Jessica Taylor has recently kind of highlighted how it's so easy to say, you know, this is because of this condition or that condition without looking actually at the the underlying issues that that woman's been through, so the abuse that she's experienced. And particularly in coercive control in relationships, there can be a tendency to think that, oh, you're out of that relationship now, you're, you're safe, and it's, it's over. Whereas we know as experts that it can take a long time for uh, those traumas to be balanced out for an individual sometimes years, sometimes never, and it's our responsibility as community agencies to help others think about that in a in a more wider wider aspect and not thinking, right, you're, you're safe now, the relationship's over, domestic abuse is over, um, because we will reiterate, mental health can take a long time to recover and be well. Some, some people don't find that they are ever in um, a fully well state, so... We want to make sure that everybody is, is supported on a longer term basis. And if the drop in is successful, can you see them becoming a more regular feature? So that would be our intention that we be able to offer more services jointly across the community. Um, as this event is about uh, the 16 days of action, we really want to bring a lot of people together to understand that community response. But future drop-ins have the potential to be for um, more survivor focus rather than awareness raising. Well, I wish you all the every success with it. And uh, for, just remind people, Tom, where, where it's taking place. So it is taking place at Mid Kent Mines Wellbeing Centre on the 7th of December between 10am and 1pm. And the address for the venue is 23 College Road, Maidstone, Kent, ME156YH. Tom Fissenden and uh, Kerry Philpot, thank you both very much indeed for your time.